This is the worm's eye view. Inch, 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 inch. Fox is doing the worm? Pregnant. This one is Rolf. So they're so happy right now. <gasps> because she's back up. Hello, Box. Hello, Box. Good morning. Little Cub and I are baking cookies. You can't really see. Is that better? Ken is sleeping. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's pretty late, though. He usually wakes up much earlier with Roslyn. But I think he's starting to get sick, too. And he was up pretty late last night working on some um, website stuff. So, we're going to surprise him with cookies. Just because I felt like baking. What are you pointing at? You can't have the cookie dough. There's raw egg in that, but you can have it after I cook it. Let's see how these turn out. I did the Nesle Tolauza recipe. <laughs> But I used, oh, I can't find the chocolate chips now. I used the Ghirardelli uh, dark chocolate chips because I really, really like those. Hey guys, <clears throat> sorry I haven't been vlogging today. It's already noon. And um, I woke up today and I was sick. And so, um, Roslyn's been taken care of by mommy, very lovingly. She let me sleep. My throat hurts and I just don't feel very good. So, like, I'm not even, I don't even have my bow tie on. I didn't even have a dress shirt on, look. I put my undershirt on and I was like, it's good enough. I'm not naked, so. And Roslyn's over here giving herself a shower. <laughs> That's her drinking. Oh, wait, where's your applesauce? Oh. Here. I think that applesauce is probably a really good thing because um, because she's been sick. She's, she threw up on Ken again last night. So applesauce is like part of the brat's diet. You know, it's like bananas, rice, applesauce, toast. And she doesn't really eat rice or toast very much. So good stuff. And these squeeze tubes, I know some people don't like to use them, but I like them on occasion. This one's like a mango flavor. So. Anyways, so right now, um, I am watching the Red Bull Battlegrounds for the StarCraft II Finals match. And um, because I'm sick and we're not doing anything, and because we're actually in town for once, um, I actually can watch this. And I'm a huge fan of StarCraft too. Um, I play it myself, and um, I like watching the tournaments. I think they're really interesting. And so, so what I'm doing right now, watching it right here. <laughs> look who's up from her nap. And look who made me go back for her blankie. And then again for her elephant. <laughs> you gotta have both, little cub. What's the name of that movie that it's like it's got the cowboy who's in charge of the castle and then the astronaut comes and then they hate each other. And like the cowboy tries to like play a prank on the astronaut but accidentally almost kills him. And then Toy Story. Oh, okay, you got it. <laughs> I, think, I think this is a classic <laughs> example of Ken found a quote on the internet and expected everyone to do it. The other thing that Ken does a lot is quote things he's already quoted before. Did I, I, did I already tell you about this one? I'm pretty sure you've already told oh, me that one. This is, that's, she's, you see her in the yeah, background? She's fine. She knows, how to, she knows how to get up and down. She's a big girl, Heidi. Also, she looks Heidi and I. With all those band aids on her. Oh, yeah, we should probably discuss this. So she, she acquired another one. So what these are are covering for bug bites. They're these little mosquito bites, but then she like scratches them until they puff up crazy big and then scratches them completely open, so. So we've done some preventative measures, but we get some Benadryl and we cut on there, but then she rubs the Benadryl off or something. So we put Band-Aids on and then she learned how to take the Band-Aid off. So I put two Band-Aids on in like a cross pattern and then she was okay with that for like yesterday and then she figured it out. And now she'll just take the Band-Aids off. So I've upgraded to sports tape. So I have the Sorry, yeah, she's already figuring that out. Roslyn just walked up to Daddy and asked to hold his hand. She also asked for the backpack. Yep. And I guess she wants to go somewhere. <laughs> Where are we going, little cousin? Oh, Calypso, get out of my skirt. What are you doing? Guys, I have to show you my dress. 
Look how pretty. You can't really tell, but it's one that's like longer in the back. I love this. My mom bought it for me when we were at JCPenney like a week ago. I filmed it. Yeah. But I love it. It's so cute. It reminds me of kind of like a cowgirl dressy outfit. And I love the lace. Very fancy. I wore it because we were going to go to church today. But we did not end up going to church. We ended up staying home because both Ken and Little Cub were sick. Which means I am next. I guess the thing she wanted Daddy to bring her was her shield. Yeah, you fight off that doggy. <laughs> shield throw. And forward, and back. <laughs> Call this little cub shuffle. Yeah. And forward, <laughs> and back. <laughs> yeah, that's your dance move. We haven't filmed very much today because Ken was feeling sick and Rosin was feeling sick and. I have a lot of chores and stuff that I like to do when Ken is home, so <sighs> sorry guys. Uh, I mean, I don't know. This might turn out to be a normal length here, video. I mean, here, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of a lot of what I did today. He slept. Yeah. It was a rough day for everyone. And I also was on my other channel, the Heidi Kim TV channel. If you're not over there, although I think most of you are, you can go check that out. It's linked below. But I was going back and like readjusting old oh. thumbnails and <laughs> fixing some like info stuff so that like in annotations this channel's linked and that kind of stuff. It actually took a much longer than I expected it to. I only did one page worth which is like 30 videos and it took most of the day. So we've just been kind of chilling at home. It wasn't as exciting as we were hoping. Rosalind's playing with harnesses. These are her favorite new things. <gasps> yeah. Buggles. Oh, look. A yeah. booger. Yeah. yeah. That's parent life. You just pick up boogers with your hands. You know you've done it. Don't worry. I'm washing the booger off. Why are there different sized things? It depends on the, like, the type of their hair and how thick it is. I well, so am I supposed to use this side then? It, whatever side goes through easiest. Well, obviously, this would go through easiest. Whatever side gets the tangles out without hurting her. I don't know. I'm not a hairstylist. You guys uh, tell me. Is there, my fingers. is there a special reason there's two different sizes? I think it's just for different hair types. This is Daddy learning how to do baby girl's me? hair. You mean learning. I know how to do this. See? Simple. You just you, you kind of scrape at her. Take a comb. And you take the part that's kind of spiky, but not really, and you scrape it against the kid's scalp. Yeah, and then how do you put it in a ponytail? Oh, she doesn't have enough hair for a ponytail. Yeah, she does. I put it in a ponytail almost every day. Okay. He does actually know how to put a hair hair in a ponytail because, when was it? When it was it when I had my surgery that you put my hair in a ponytail for yeah. me? And I was like, this is practice for when she's older. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're all sick. I feel crummy. I'm not, but I probably will be soon. Yeah. I, it's ironic because I think just yesterday or maybe the day before I was like ha 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 I'm not gonna get sick. I would have gotten it already Actually, I should like cut to yesterday Because you were literally talking in the car If you guys remember this, you know, what I'm talking Do about, I say, is it about the, the kid that yeah It's in the video about the kid that oh, was like yeah. breathing right in your face. I had a kid that was just straight up just sick Just oh and he comes up to me with a question. He's like Mr. Kim, and here's my fit. He comes this close, and he's just like, Mr. Kim, can you help me with this problem? And I'm like, I can feel his breath on my cheek. That was sick. So I'm, I'm going to clip that right here. This is the worm's eye view. Inch, 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 inch. Fox is doing the worm? Inch, uh oh, oh. Ah. Inch, 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 inch. <laughs> someone, someone left a comment on the Sudden Kim Pack Facebook page saying that we need more of Ken in the vlog. Thumbs up if you want more of Ken. He's the best part. Well, maybe Rosalind's the best no, part. No, Ros Little Cub's the best part. Oh. And they said that we should change the block box bling. So in case you guys were curious, you guys never see yourself. But we will be putting another bling or something on the box maybe at like one month. So right now you have a bow tie. Let me show you. So right now you have a bow tie and excuse my dirty mirror, but we'll put something else on there, just not quite yet. 
Well, I do it for special reasons. We don't want to just change the box bling for no reason. So. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I cut it out, but Ken, I, I do it too. Every time we turn on the camera to vlog, we start with like, um, okay, so, okay guys, or something like that. And I just told Ken <laughs> to try and start a sentence without doing it, and it's a really hard habit to break. Here, just start the sentence. So? Someone, no. Someone commented. Someone, that's such an unnatural way to talk. Recently we had a comment, and it was an interesting comment. Heidi thinks it was a typo, I'm not sure. But somebody asked why we call Roslyn Little Cup with a P. So little and then cup. Like, like Red Solo Cup. Like Red Solo Cup. Point is, is they asked that and we thought it was kind of humorous because we call her a little cub. With like a with a B, like a bear cub. Um, and actually where that comes from is um, I originally, when she was born, started calling her um, man cub because of the Jungle Book. I was listening to a song from Jungle Book and they call Mowgli man cub and then he started calling Rosalind man cub and I said please don't call our child our daughter man cub anyways so I was like oh, fine let's call her little foot after the land before time Danielle baby bliss calls her daughter little foot well it's a it's an adorable name and when I was a kid it was like one of my favorite movies because I love dinosaurs anyways point is Heidi vetoed little little foot so, I did veto Littlefoot. I would have been okay with Littlefoot, but I don't want to call our next baby Littlefoot because Danielle Baby Bliss did it. Point is, she vetoed Man Cub, and so we 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 compromised at Little Cub, and we liked it a lot. And so her nickname became Little Cub, and that is her. That is your origin story, Little Cub. Five years or however old you are right now watching this. <laughs> However, if you did actually mean to write Little Cup. I can understand that because sometimes Ken and I do not speak so clearly. Yeah, I actually I accidentally because I accidentally called her Little Cup <laughs> today by accident. Little Cub and I are going to end the vlog tonight. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button and you'll see us in your subscription feed every single day because we do this daily. So come back and watch. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good job, Roslyn. Thumbs up for bye bye. Oh my gosh. I feel much more comfortable now. Because if she tries to run off traffic, even if I'm not paying attention, it's okay. I feel a little tug. I'm like, oh, she's like running off into traffic.